what's going on guys so it seems like John is feeling better because he got right back into the saddle he's out playing basketball again right now so if he felt up to playing a game he must be all right his head must feel all right that noise in the background is the dryer it's really loud Thor always has to be at my feet while I'm cleaning the kitchen because you're disgusting you're a disgusting little doodle bear yeah he just wants to lick up soap crumbs. He hopes I'm gonna soap something off of the counter and then he's gonna get to eat it. Clean up duty. Oh, don't you wag your tail like you think you're so cute. Yeah. What the heck? I swear I just heard John's voice and I came looking for him and I don't see him anywhere. I'm like really weirded out. I thought he came in through the front door and he's not there. Nope, and his car isn't here. That's freaking weird. I swear I just heard Nikki. It sounded like it was outside the window though. Anyway, I really want to get maternity photos taken and it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, all right, chop, chop. But I wanted to wait until my belly was bigger because I always had kind of like a small bump, I guess, but I wanted you to be able to really see it in the photos. But I don't know where to shoot these pictures. I've like asked for some people's advice and I'm trying to find a good location in the Los Angeles area. That'll be like a pretty background. So this Japanese garden was suggested to me. That looks pretty. Can just anyone shoot there? And then someone suggested to me the observatory. And I'm kind of confused by that. I'm like, what would be a pretty background for maternity photos at the observatory? Kenobi! Do you wish that you could be my maternity photographer? I bet you do. Did you just wink at me? I think I saw you wink. So I need to run to the grocery store again to get another veggie for my smoothie because I used the mustard greens that I bought last night in a smoothie and oh my gosh, it was horrible. It was the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. I've never tried mustard greens before and they're like spicy. So it tasted really weird, like spicy with uh, orange and banana and not great. So I'm just gonna get some spinach. I know spinach tastes good in smoothies. Shrink! And then I have to get John another piece of Trace Leche's cake because okay, okay. I ate it. I ate his piece of cake. You snooze, you lose. But at least I'm getting him another one. Oh my god, now they have Oreo Trace Leche's cake? That looks even better than the one I got last time. Ah! How was basketball? Good. Yeah. Good, good. In. It was fun. I don't know. There's only 10 people there today, so we got to like play for like two hours uninterrupted, which was nice because it's a lot of exercise. Were you thinking about me Watch. today when you were playing basketball? Yes, I think about you every day, all the time. Aw, that's cute. But it was so weird. I heard John's voice. I swear that I did. I heard you say, Nikki, outside the window, and then I look and you're not here. It was really weird. Yeah, I think you're just having, because you're pregnant, you've been forgetting all sorts of stuff. How is that forgetting? Well, no, Hearing voices all, isn't like, forgetting. forgetting. things and then not remembering things. I think I said the same thing, but you, yeah, it probably has to do with you being pregnant. Pregnancy brain makes you hear voices like a crazy person. But actually, I heard like when you hear a voice or something and you swear you heard something it's really just your brain trying to make sense of white noise like you were listening to some kind of white noise but i don't know where the white noise was i don't know i'm just repeating what i heard on tv oh, oh simon raymond simon boo come in here i needed so much restraint your trace leches cake has an oreo on it Wow, doesn't it's actual Oreo, not like a knockoff Oreo. Doesn't that look like so much more bomb than the one that I got the other day? Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat it after I take a shower. <laughs> it's so good. Don't I had to touch it. I know I had to restrain myself for not eating this one. And padlock the refrigerator shut. You might have to. Kenobi, guard the fridge. Good boy. It's <laughs> my two old guard dogs. There you they go. They probably just want the cake. Yeah. I have to pee and shower. Okay, have fun! I want to eat John's cake so bad, but I'm like, no, Nikki, that's too much sugar for the baby! I ate half a piece of cake yesterday, and then half a piece of cake today. Maybe, maybe John will let me have two bites. Two bites isn't bad. 
I, my nutrition is so good overall. Hey, turtle. I will squirt you. Squirt, 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 squirt. It's like it's raining. Don't you like it? Hey. Do you like ducks? You got it. Bless you. Bless you. There's your beautiful face. Hello. And Lola is super tired right now. Well, she's always lazy, but I took her for a really long walk today. So she's been in bed. Oh, what? You're not even gonna look at me? You're not even gonna look at me because I called you lazy? What's that about? There you go, pretty princess. Thor, 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 Doodle Bear. I've got a job for you now. I like you in a robe. Me too. I think you look handsome. Uh, dashing, but yeah, close. Dapper. I don't know. You have to tell me how it is. Kind of soggy. Well, it's Trace Leche's cake. It's soaked in milk. D Duh, it's gonna be soggy. Well, why are you so excited about a soggy Oreo? Oh, an Oreo? I'll have it, if you don't no. like it. <laughs> John, I put in so much effort and you ate good one thoughts. You got me first. Yeah, but you had a chance to eat it and you didn't eat it in time. It has a pink frosting in the middle. Uh-huh. It's not very Oreo-ish. You can be such a brat sometimes. I'm just saying, it's not, I would rather it be Oreo in the middle. It's Trace Leche's cake. Yeah. So it's Trace Leche's cake with Oreo on top. What that means? Yeah, three milks. Ooh, fancy Nikki. Yeah, I'm so fancy. Mm, it's good. Good, I'm glad you like it. I do like it. I wanted to make you happy. Congratulations. <laughs> what is this? Cat corner gathering time? Gizmo, Boo, Aphrodite. They're all just hanging out together. We have birthing class tonight and I'm actually really excited for this class because John gets to wear the sympathy belly. It's his turn and I can't wait to see this. I think it's gonna be so funny. John is hungry though, so he's stopping to get some food before clash. He's so hungry. What? Hurts. He's always having problems. <laughs> Headache. But I don't know, I feel like John needs some more sympathy for being pregnant, so it's cool that he's gonna wear the belly tonight. McDonald's drive through Actually, do you think you'll be okay to wear it? Or are you totally miserable? Like, I love you, I feel bad when you're in pain. Well, I guess if your head hurts, you're kind of getting like the full experience of well, being like pregnant. You had ice instead. No. Yeah. No. You just said you were concerned about me doing it. Now you're <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I, I am. You played basketball today. Yeah. So you you can play basketball, but you can't wear the sympathy belly. Well, I don't know if that was such a good idea. To play basketball. Yeah. Came home, and fell asleep, and I woke up and my head hurts. I mean, I took Advil, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Number three with a Coke, please. Regular, medium, whatever. Number three? Yeah. Medium size? Regular. What kind of drink? Coke. Anything all for you? Yeah. Can you make sure you order correct on the screen, please? Yeah. I'm not proud of myself. How's your burger? Okay. See? And if you were pregnant, you couldn't even be eating that burger. Well, I really wanted Taco Bell, but I went to the wrong corner. But <laughs> I was just really hungry and all I had a salad. Build up your strength for the pregnancy belly. We got some blankets and pillows to lay on the floor with. That actually kind of sucked having John eat McDonald's right next to me. I could just smell it and I'm like, oh, that smells delicious. So bad for you. I did. I had two french fries. I hope that's not bad. I don't, don't think worry. two french fries are going to hurt the baby. I was it like, I have really to have one. my digestive system feel bad later, so you got that going for you. Oh, okay. But we're walking up to class and I have been looking forward to this for like two weeks now. Woohoo! 
John hasn't been looking forward to it, but I've just been counting down the days. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till he wears that sympathy belly. Sounds more like a revenge belly. A revenge belly? Yeah. <laughs> we could call it that. Knowing you, you know what I thought you were gonna say? So does this mean that you have to massage my back during class? Well, I was gonna bring that up. <laughs> so John is getting the pregnancy belly. I love you. Thanks for being supportive. Okay, <laughs> inhale. And exhale. Tight, 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 tight. <sighs> Poor guy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Check it? And here comes the belly. Um. <laughs> you look so not happy right now, John. <laughs> I'm thrilled. <laughs> Did you take anything for the headache? Uh, yeah, he took an Advil. And then we're just going to go ahead and strap the, um, this, this one here, the, the top one. Just the top one for now. That's good. More stuff than you'd wear when you go skydiving. <laughs> and go ahead and lift that belly up so I can place the bladder. Okay. And how much does this weigh exactly? About 35 pounds. Total? Yep. Nice. Okay, so go ahead and you can strap the, yeah, the rest. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> Finally, well, I know. I got my boobs. Great. Massage it, it'll feel better. Yeah. <laughs> but see, all throughout the class, you can just like feel yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, just like I can. <laughs> Do you have anything to say, John? Nope. <laughs> you look great pregnant. So John just spent all of class wearing this pregnancy belly. Let's get a side shot. You're even bigger than me. I don't think so. What did you say? Bigger than yours. My butt crack was hanging out too. <laughs> yeah, it's making your pants fall down. How do you feel? I feel all right. Yeah. It's a uh, definitely an inconvenience. We didn't have you lay down. Oh no. yeah. You want to lay down, John? There you go. <laughs> Is it easy to sleep like that? Um, How's not. the breathing? Probably not, no? Yeah, constricted breathing stinks. Yeah. You can get so. Go ahead and lay on your side. See if, tell me if that's any better. <laughs> uh, a little bit. A little bit? All right, let's see if we can make it more comfortable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Feels nice. Yeah, I can fly in first class. <laughs> How about right? Let's let's put this. some pillows right in between. For nine months. Right. You don't think you could do this for nine months? I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to. <laughs> it's like that's why I have you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and turn a little bit this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then if we have some support back here, is that better? Yep. Yep. Now sometimes if you like bring this knee over here towards this way. Sometimes you're like taking pressure off of We're here. bringing the same stuff. How's that? It's great. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You go to sleep right now? I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> So we're back home now, class goes pretty late. I'm so glad that John was a good sport about wearing that sympathy belly. Well, I really wanted to see him in it because I thought it was gonna be just so funny and I could like tease him a little bit and blah, blah, blah. But then I started to feel kind of bad for him because he just felt miserable with his head hurting and, and wearing that pregnancy belly. So I actually felt sad at first, I was like, Oh, maybe I shouldn't have volunteered him to wear it today or told the teacher to let someone else go first. But then later on, John did start to perk up. His Advil kicked in and he started feeling better and he had fun with it, wearing the belly. And I just really enjoyed it. We got some funny pictures that I put on Instagram. So here we go. John took this selfie of himself and then I made this little collage of us. Here we are standing back to back and here's John flashing the camera. <laughs> yeah, he was being silly towards the end. Whew. Well, 
I was kind of not looking forward to wearing that whole sympathy belly thing, even before I got whacked in the head. But after I got whacked in the head and I just had that really big headache, and I had to wear that giant belly, it was really uncomfortable. And I'm glad that I'm not pregnant and I don't have to go through that. So per Nikki's just, you know, pregnant for the both of us. And realistically, I mean, I'm... That sympathy belly, you know, it's not realistic. That doesn't happen to guys. Guys don't really have to go through that. So I feel like it's kind of an invalid experience and they should probably just get rid of it because it just hurts and it stinks. Are you me? It's supposed to be <laughs> You're supposed to feel how I feel for a day, like for a few hours dragging that weight around. Yeah. Of course it's See? Not realistic. Well, she could just feel it for me. I mean, oh my gosh. you know? Yeah. Uh, well, and we have one more birthing class to go next week, and it's really, I would describe it as an eye-opening experience having to learn all this information, because it's not just like you're learning it again in health class, and you're being taught, you know, all the stuff about having babies and getting scared not to have babies. It actually, like, it's your upcoming near future life, and it's information that pertains to your baby and having a baby and going through this whole birthing process. So it's it's enlightening, I guess, and eye-opening, and I'm glad that I'm doing it because I'm learning a lot that I didn't know and how to support Nikki and help Nikki through this process. But again, I don't think that sympathy belly was something I needed to experience. And my biggest qualm with the whole thing is there's like six couples in our birthing class, right? And there's only four classes. So two of those suckers in there are getting away without wearing that belly. And oh, let me tell you what, that really is rawr, steam coming out of my ears because I wish I could have been that guy that got away without wearing it. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the little thumbs up button down there. It means a lot to us. Um, share this video with your friends on Facebook and on Twitter. Go ahead, tweet us. You know, join the conversation on Twitter, <laughs> as they always say. But we'll catch up with you guys later. And I think I need to probably go to the bathroom because I have McDonald's for dinner. See you guys.